Hello and welcome back to Banished. I'm ND War. And I found out what that achievement was. I built a hundred stone houses. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm quite surprised I've never hit that achievement before considering I've hit some of the population achievements. But that kind of shows you, I suppose, just how much I rely on uh, wooden houses over stone. Considering we're living in kind of temporary weather. Although, in all honesty, I don't remember what I've set the game up as. I am very much tempted to uh, unlock some of these houses for building. But I'm not sure I could... I mean, I've still got these here to go. I'm pretty sure I can't absorb the population growth. Especially considering I want the population to be on this side to help with the food and the fishing. So, probably not the best idea I've had. Although, talking about fishing, I I should finish the fishing docks along here, really, shouldn't I? That looks idyllic. Fuck you, that. That looks okay. Just pause them again. Right, so trading. <clears throat> Oh, sorry about that. Um, absolutely nothing I want. Um, I've got enough ale. It's actually stored at the trading place. That might actually start selling some ale. Um, I've got enough steel tools that I've manufactured myself. I might, could maybe do with the wool, but I doubt it. So, yeah, I'm going to say nah, but I am going to say... I want 500 ale stored here, please. Hell, I've got that 400 in there anyhow. I might as well try and sell it a, a little bit. Um, is there a way for me to see infantry? Inventory. Wall. Before it goes away, I've got enough wall. Leather. It's the leather I'm kind of uh, struggling on. So... There you go. When it comes to coat making, I'm actually quite good. Thank you very much. You're dismissed. Um, I'm thinking maybe another bridge along here somewhere. Kind of try to help build up this side. I mean, I'm I'm so starved for stone at the moment. I even get more. Although it's nice to see coal going up. I ain't struggling a little bit. I might need to pump some more into mining, but I need like I'm supposed to have like twenty labourers free here so I can carry on working and getting things done. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of just fiddly. So, by this episode... Uh, let me just have a quick look. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the last banished episode for a while because Kerbal Space Program's taken over. Uh, got my diary on my phone so uh, I can actually see what I'm doing. So yeah, Kerbal Space Program and then maybe a bit of Banished if I start getting some views on my older ones. Um, if no one actually cares. I'm really got to stop saying um. Then no one cares so I'll stop. That'd be kind of cool.
I might just have to build that just because it's, it's done now. Nearly a four way bridge. All from one point. Um, I'd like these to get some priority on them. But not before them houses. Because them houses are nearly done. But yeah, ale's worth quite a lot, really. Yeah, I've got high cut. I'm surprised high. Oh, it does there look? I'm just blind. I'm, say, I'm surprised high cut doesn't turn up. But basically, you know, high cut and wool cut both sell for the same. I think warm cut sells for like twenty. I'm not that worried. I'm not that concerned. Just stops in with it as well. Look at them fields. Come on guys, farm a bit faster. So I've got like 12 builders here. We should just kind of pour onto these. Unless they get built first. How's that market doing? At least it's had some deliveries. Did I not place a stockpile around here? I could do with a stockpile around here. That's quite nice then. I now can have the biggest stockpile available. And we will increase and just let increase that priority. Because I think Labour has got to come and do that. And just can go up to 12. Get these markets a little bit more full. Could do with another tailor, and I could go. Where's my uh, warm coats? There we go. Drop a thousand into the. Get some processing done. A uh, steel tool. There they are. Drop a thousand into there as well. Get the other blacksmith turned on. Uh, them traders are going to start uh, tearing like two of my vital resources apart. But on the other hand, I've turned both of them vital resources onto full. So hopefully, you know, I've got enough ale kicking about. Hopefully, I'll have enough of the other two. If not, I can always lower them numbers. Not gonna sell food. Need food. Uh, could sell some logs. It is a renewable resource. It's not like that's gonna go anywhere. And I can always release it. That's one of the main reasons what I've done with the uh, coats and everything else. So logs. Although I don't know if logs are going to be worth anything, so... And that firewood. Lock that up to 5,000. Yeah, that's looking all good. All of this stuff going into the bank. Could do with reserves of iron. Apart from... If it's, nah, no reserves of iron. Or stone. It's not raw, it's not good. Logs have only worth two. 
I mean, that's still 2,000. So, and it is a renewable resource, so I expect that number to bounce back, quite literally. And that should give my traders something to do. I'll chuck two more in there just to speed things along a little bit. I see that them houses get completed. I think these are next. With that stockpile being done, hopefully they'll just start stockpiling it. All of this resource here to there. Which is a good point actually. I should tell them to remove this resource again. Just to annoy them all. It's quite nice to see down here looking so clear. Although there's quite a lot of that still targeted look. So they're going to come and clear this lot first. I need lots more labourers. That's what it is. I've got to stop assigning people. So. Stone's kind of climbing. Which is good. But I am going to strip you. Go get some labouring done. Half capacity. Kind of wish I told you if you'd had idle labourers. However, again, not a big concern. Just missed that one. Hopefully now, you know, quite a lot of labour work will get done. With it being winter, well, winter's coming up. The farmers will all kind of flee to labouring jobs. I wonder if they do actually, I wonder if they uh, all try to pile in on these orchards. Look at all that wood. <laughs> I don't even think I've got a... Oh yeah. What's the firewood set at? Yeah, quite high. I don't know if I needed that high now that everyone's relying on coal. I think everyone's relying on coal. That's still got firewood in it. That's still got firewood in it. That's still got firewood in it. How about on this side? I mean... Yeah, you, you start relying on a bit of coal. You're still on firewood. You're on coal though. Firewood. Firewood. So, firewood's still kind of necessary, so I'll leave that alone. Uh, yeah, we're dumping in the coats, but the coats aren't even really suffering that much. They will do. But right now, they're doing okay. Keep up the trading, guys. Pour them labourers into the building. Like I said, if they're not actually on the building, then they'll come there is out anyhow. But it's quite nice to see all that clearing up. Ah. Yes, yeah, been a long week. And it's only gonna get long. Ooh, excuse me. It's only going to get longer. British summer and all that jazz. So food is starting to suffer again, quite dramatically. Got to graphs. Although education is nice and going up. Population is nearly back when we had that food crisis to begin with. And I've not really done anything about it. So it's time. Lock them buildings. Tell them to hurry up with this. I've 
shifted my population around the wrong side really because there's very little to do around here. Apart from maybe make more farming. And I'm not sure where to make it. Whereas down there at least I've got fishing to rely on. It all depends on where I want to place mines really. I'm always a bit in trepidation of placing mines down. I always forget that they're, they'll, they'll spring into existence and then all of a sudden I'm in trouble. Okay, show me where some of these builders are. You're idling. Idling, idling, idling. Wait, so you've got all of this work to begin on with, and you are all idling. Why are so many of you idling? I mean, there is work to be done. Are you waiting for labourers to come clear these trees off? Because that needs building. And these logs to live into it, which is a labourer's job. Right, I think I kind of see... Go on then. Oh, no, no more builders. Don't care. Because the last four I've got are all idling. Oh, you've swapped to a herbalist now. You're supposed to be building that marketplace. So I suppose you're waiting on the stone to be delivered. Well, all these labourers will uh, come clear out everything in a moment, I'm sure. I wonder... Uh, I did the wrong one. Okay. That's only got a builder. That's not got a builder. That's not got a builder, even though they're priority. Where have the rest of these builders gone? Where have they been assigned? Still idling, really. And I've pulled the builders off there. Is it because we're still clearing down here? Cancel the removal of that. I have to do it another day, it's just taking too long. We need U40 somewhere else. First I'm going to drop you down to 20. Hopefully I'll see uh, swarms of people around here in a moment. But I feel very confident. And to think, yes, this is built too far away. Maybe it does need to be like here instead. But I am determined. I am nothing but. And even though I think we're up to like four traders now. And you know, this is quite full of logs. It's quite full of uh, warm coats. Very full of ale. Um, logs are kind of bouncing back. Warm coats are definitely up. Oh, that's interesting. Sheep, sheep are not interesting. 
And I've been blessed with another achievement, Blacksmith. No idea why. Probably keeping my uh, um, tool supply up nice and high. Sorry about that, I just knocked the mic. I got louder then, quieter. Hopefully it's not good. I have been looking at a professional mic setup because, believe it or not, I do actually talk and sound really okay. Okay, that last bit might have been a lie, but you know, I do talk okay. I have noticed sometimes the microphone does not pick up on some of the words I do say, and that can be quite disturbing. Just listening to yourself and not say these words, even though you know you clearly remember saying them. Ah. Uh, I increased my OT of the collection. I'm free bill. Ooh, builders have been assigned. Lovely. So hopefully then builders will come. Hello, Otter said. Now, uh, there seems to be a little path down here. I wonder if I can actually build a little path down here. Uh, can. But what I can do is go there. And I'll just speed up the ones that are uh, cutting. Oh, so that cost me. Right now, not too scared about that. Because this is so far away from town, I think they're literally just getting out here, doing one, back again. Cutting down a tree and then going back again. Dropping off. Drop off some. I think it's just about it. This is going to take. That's going to be the curse. Might as well have a bit of an expansion. I thought, I've been told builders will quite happily start building this structure because they're the build phase and they're still working on these. What time would they just transfer their patients? There they have. Obviously, wrong on a lot of things. I didn't actually expect them to start all of that their attention if I'm on a about here. This. Especially that bloody pasture. The, the reason why I'm so in distance that's just getting built is because it's going to take a, a long while for the to uh, recover 
Being split. I need them to recover quite quickly. Obviously that I'm gonna have two fields recovering, not just the one. So uh, I should work in my favour really. I was really hoping to get these built by the end of this episode. Nothing's happening. This is still waiting for trees to be... I don't even see trees on it, just the logs. This is getting building work done on it and there's not even a builder assigned to it. And I've got a house on fire, of course I do. I've got plenty of labourers. And there's a well right there. I think these should be able to save this out. Oh yeah, that's gonna be They said that they didn't save the house, but at least the fire didn't spread. That's quite nice. Come on! What trader? Must have had like five traders in the time it's taken me to build that. Logs is quite nice and high, firewood's gaining. They literally just go down this list, don't they? I think they do, so steel tool of course will be the last thing to trade and logs and fire would be the first. Or by herbs and ale obvious. I think I bought this ale, the majority of ale that's in here now. I think I bought that. These guys don't even accept uh that. That's a bit annoying. We'll throw 100 foot in X. Uh, cherry and squash. I don't even know what cherry or squash. Good item. Well, I don't have cherry, uh, but I do have squash. That's five. Ass is on fire today. Here we go. Just me. Got plenty of warm cars, still got plenty of. Aha. And that means I need some headsmen. So I'm still waiting on logs to be delivered there and logs to be delivered there and I'm still waiting on trees to be... I can't believe this, my nut to my future self is going to be so disappointing. And I need so much more food. Look at that, my food's dwindling quite badly. But it's nice to see that boarding house is able to absorb more nomad. I'm gonna call it there. Nothing's happened. Well, we had a little bit of a fire. That should have been interesting. But because of the placement of the well, yeah, nothing's happened. This dog's. and pause them dogs. Shouldn't have done a lot of things. I've been in D war, this has been banished, this has been boring, and I do apologize. Hence why I'm going over to Careful Space Program. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, please comment and I will get straight on the case. Ciao for now and see you later.